Hey, what's going on guys? Stash here getting another review. In today's episode, we're gonna be trying out the Mike's Harder Half and Half Tea and Lemonade, guys. That's right, guys. Uh, picked this up at 7-Eleven. I uh, actually went out there just to get some food at 7-Eleven. <laughs> yeah, 7-Eleven, right? Uh, but actually, they make some bomb-ass pizzas, you know. Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments down below if y'all think uh, about 7-Eleven's pizza. But, anyhow, we're on this. Uh, I saw this in their, uh, uh, the drink aisle. And I saw it's uh, new, 8% and like the can through, uh, really popped me off. I was like, you know, I'm, I've tried uh, Mark's Harder and Lemonade's before. Uh, you can check out my stash playlist for all those that are on there currently. But yes, yeah, uh, 8% Alka by volume. Uh, I love what I just read uh, a second ago. It says crafted to remove gluten. Uh, like you can't put uh, gluten free. There's, it's just crafted to remove it. So uh, but yeah, but not much uh, more bio on it. So I'm interested to uh, try it out guys for y'all. So into the stash class here. But I like they gotta put a uh, new on it too. So who knows, is that gonna, is it a limited time release or are they gonna keep it around? Who knows, so. All right, let's put a stash class. All right. Looks like a little uh, tea color in the smell. It does smell a little bit All right, let's try it out. Mike's Harder Half and Half Tea Lemonade. Cheers. It's not bad. Uh, compared to like other Mike's Harders, uh, obviously one of the Harders, you know, the regular Mike's Hard Lemonade is like 5%, and the Harder is 8%. Usually the Harders are a lot more uh, harsher to take down, but uh, this Tea Lemonade combo is not bad. Kind of gives me like the uh, like the twisted tea kind of vibes. Uh, I dig it a lot. I like it. Uh, I think I like it better than the regular uh, Mike's Hard Limited. Cause I uh, I do enjoy uh, some teas. Like I'm a big fan of green teas, of course. Uh, this one's not bad at all. It doesn't uh, really bite you like it really uh, usually does with the other uh, flavors with the uh, Mike's formula. Yeah, I say it's on par. I mean, for a malt beverage, it also comes, it says uh, natural flavors. It's not bad, not bad at all. It's not like the the best alcohol tea I've had. I won't say that far, but for Mike's, it's definitely on the par up there. Uh, I'll give it for overall with the design, the taste, what it has to offer. I'm gonna give it a uh, a really high four out of five, guys. I definitely uh, recommend it. So I'd like to see if they actually make like a pack of this. I uh, would have a problem getting like a six pack of this and just chill it down to the lake or something. So, but yeah, guys, uh, if you see this in the area, guys, I definitely recommend trying it out. All right, guys, I'm gonna take it out of here. If you enjoyed this review, please like, share, subscribe. Be sure to check out my social media down in the description down below, guys. And be sure to hit that notification bell to stay to all future videos. Until next time, guys, this is Stats. So, y'all saying, but peace.